This project is called a valve body. It gives us an opportunity to practice using some offset sketch planes as well as counterboard and threaded holes. I've started a new sketch studio in millimeters and I'll start a new sketch on the top sketch plane and we're going to draw the circles that make the body of this valve. So I'll get a center point circle, make it coincident to the origin. The inside is 200 millimeters in diameter, and the outside is 250. With uh, those done, I'll accept that sketch and we're going to extrude the tubular body. This is going to be a symmetric and a total height of 250 millimeters. Next we'll create the tabs with the holes that are evenly divided around the top. I'll start a new sketch on this top surface of my object. I'm going to view normal to the sketch plane and I'm going to draw a construction line coincident to the origin and vertical. This is 160 millimeters long and the end point of this line is the hole of one of the tabs so I'll use a center point circle. Uh, this has a diameter of 25. And around the outside of this is a arc. So I'll use a center point arc because I know the center. It's here. I want the first point to be uh, coincident to the center of the circle. I'll zoom out a little bit here. And the second point also to be coincident and the radius is 30. So that escaped my arc. And now this is connected. I'll use a line tool and make sure it's vertical and coincident to the outer circle. Again, vertical coincident. And that creates the region. Now there are three of these tabs on the top and bottom. I'm going to use a circular pattern and I'm going to choose by using a window the tab that I just drew and I can see that this is being reproduced three times around 360. I click the left mouse button to accept that. And again, these are blue, meaning that they aren't fully defined. If I want them to be fully defined, I'm going to fix the center point on that one. And now those will not move because they're fully defined. I'll accept this sketch. Go to isometric. Choose extrude. And choose these regions. Uh, I want them to go the opposite direction, so I'm going to click the arrow. And these have a thickness of 15 millimeters. That looks right, so I'll accept that. So these tabs are also on the bottom, so I'm going to mirror the feature of these three tabs. So in my mirror feature, I'm going to choose a feature. I have to choose that off the list. It wants to know what feature I'm going to mirror. I'll click in my feature list. I'll click extrude 2, which were those three that we just did. And for the mirror plane, actually if I just go over here and mouse over in the feature list, I can see it's the top sketch plane that I want to use as a mirror plane. So I'll choose that. And I can see these three tabs being created at the bottom as a mirror, so I'll accept that. 
Next we'll create the bosses that we'll use to uh, create holes for the shaft of this valve. I'm going to create a new sketch plane. I want this to be an offset sketch plane and I want to use the, the front as my sketch plane that I'm going to offset. Now it needs to come in this direction on the outside of the valve body. It needs to move out here about 150 millimeters. Create a place for that circle. I'll accept that. I'm going to uh, sketch on this new sketch plane. I'll view normal. And this has a circular boss, so I'm going to use the origin, snap to that. And this is a 175 diameter circle. We'll cre create that, accept the sketch. And now I'll use an extrude of that circle that I just drew. I want it to go the opposite direction. And I want it to intersect with the valve body. So I'll say up to next. And I can see that it intersects, but it does not go inside. So it creates a nice fit. I'll accept that. Now there is another boss on the back side for the end of the shaft. And so I will create another sketch plane. Again, I want the front to be the sketch plane that I'm starting with, and I want it to go in this opposite direction. Again, this will be 150 millimeters. We'll accept that sketch plane. I'm going to bring it around towards me now and say, create a sketch on this sketch plane and view normal. In this case, it'll also be a circle. I'll use the origin as the center of the circle. This has a diameter of 100 millimeters. We'll accept that. We'll extrude that circle. And we want to make sure that we're adding material, that we are going up to next. and we'll accept that. So those are our two boss surfaces that we'll put the holes through. Next we'll add some holes through the valve body for the shaft and for the plate screws. But first we need to create a sketch on this surface so that we can designate where these holes are going to go. I'm going to use a point and create one point coincident with the origin for the shaft. And then another point that I want vertical from the origin about here, and I will dimension that. This will be for the screws that hold that plate on. And the location of that hole is really, it's on a 137 0.5 diameter circle and that half of that, I'll say divided by 2, would place that top hole location. So I'm going to accept those two points. Now we're going to use a hole feature and this is going to be for the shaft. I'll click on that uh, point that we just put in and this is going to be a counterboard hole it will be blind, but it's going to be a clearance hole. So the shaft slides through. It's going to have a diameter of 60 for the inside hole. The counter bore around the outside is going to be 100 millimeters in diameter. That counter bore is going to be 25 millimeters deep. And it's going to be 275 millimeters that center hole is going to go through. 
Now with that entered, I can look inside and see I have the counter. Here is the counter bore. Here's where the shaft's going to go through, and it'll go all the way through into this boss on the back, but it doesn't go through the back edge. So I'm going to accept that. Now if I want to get a better look at what that is going to look like, I can go to my views, turn on section view, and use the right sketch plane as my cutting plane, and I can see where that shaft is going to go through, and that looks like exactly what I want. Okay, with that done, we are going to place some screw holes that will hold a retention plate. In this case, I need to use my sketch again, so I'll turn it back on so I can see that hole. Now we'll use a hole feature again. Um, we're going to choose that hole. Now this is not going to be a counterbore. This is going to be a simple hole. It will be blind. It's going to be an ISO, meaning metric. It's not a clearance hole. It's actually a threaded hole, so I'm going to say that it's tapped. The size of the screw that goes in is an M12, and it's going to have a depth of 35 millimeters. And I'll accept that. Now this screw hole, there's two other ones that are evenly spaced, so I can use another circular pattern for that feature. But in order to do that, I need a axis. So I'm going to start another sketch and to choose which sketch plane I want to be on, I'm going to just mouse over and look. I want to be on this right sketch plane. I want to create a center line, so I'll use construction. Uh, coincident to the origin, I'm going to pull it horizontal outside here, and that's will be the center of this revolution, the axis that I can use. So now we'll place a hole. Whoops, that's not what I want to do. I want to pattern in a circular pattern a feature and the feature that I'm patterning is hole number two. It wants to know the axis so we'll click on the axis that we just created. I can see that it's suggesting four so we'll say three and that shows me my three screw holes. I'll accept that. And now I have my three screw holes. I'm going to turn the planes off and I have my valve body.